bits, and we'll do it on the back since this is this is a project. Doesn't it's not that critical. But a rivet shaver is an industry standard tool. It's not used very often. The only critical thing you have to remember is that before you use this tool, you must set it up on the metal to where it does not touch. Okay, you see it's just marred in metal right there. So you have to turn the collar out. It has to be as close to the surface as it can get without actually touching the metal. That's the only way it's going to effectively work. Okay, right there it's not touching. It's touching there, so let's go back. Okay, so now we can go here and it's not touching. So now, if you wanted to check or if your rivet were a little bit high, you would put this over top of your rivet. And you can see it shaved just a teeny bit down. Okay, and then the next one absolutely nothing. So that's about a perfect buck on that one. That one was a teeny bit high. Rivet shaver, industry standard, and when treated and painted, and we all understand that this video is simply showing the layup and the installation of rivets. This video is not indicative of a full-scale repair as we've done no metal prep between the sheets of metal there is it's just a clad um, if we were doing a repair um, and when you do your project you are going to treat the metal it's all going to be pre you're going to drill it you're going to countersink it you're going to prime it so when you get to this stage everything's all going to be be prepared um, but this is to show how to put rivets in and that's about it so we have two countersunk AD rivets, two countersunk cherry masks, two universal head cherry masks, and I'll go ahead and buck two standard head 